Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been MIA for a couple weeks, but life happens, traveling's been happening, just vacay, sleeping, working, just stuff, just life. So, I know I'm late, we're mid-May. This is my April SG sub box, but I haven't recorded it yet, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. If you're new here, my name is Layla. I film videos for planners and bags. I upload on Saturdays when I have my sh together. So if that's something you might be interested in, you should consider subscribing. If you're not new here, hey ladies. So this is my April um, sub box from Simply Gilded. Of course, as it travels through the mail, it does not always get to me in its sexiest form, but we make do. As always, I did go ahead and open it um, when I got it because it did come, you know, during the day. Um, so I did already take a peek at things, but it's been on my desk along with a whole lot of other stuff. <laughs> um, so need to go ahead and get this filmed. I'm sure by now you guys have already seen the box and other videos. You've already seen, um, you know, whatever the mystery item is. So I'm sure you're already up to par on whatever that is. So let me zoom in just a smidge. All right. So first thing we got this gorgeous faux leather um, scalloped edge with silver hardware. Let me go ahead and remove that. Silver hardware. Um, well, you just didn't want to stay in trash again, did you? So this is like a TN. Um, so if you're not familiar with Simply Gilded, each month she sometimes includes pouches or different planners or different kind of, um, you know, covers for planners. So this is a TN. You could always put some rings in here if you wanted to. Um, and you could make this like, I think this would be B6 size if I'm not mistaken. Um, B6 size. And then of course in her kit, it usually comes with a book. So it already comes with like one of the books you could use as an insert. You could definitely wrap it in some of her vellum or her acetate or some of your own and create a planner out of it. It does have four strings. You could always change them if you want to. You've got a pocket here, a secretarial pocket here, and then you've got an elastic pin loop over here. And of course it is stamped with Simply Gilded here at the bottom. So this is super cute. Um, I've been playing with some ideas about how I wanna do some journaling this year and just kind of getting thoughts and feelings on paper. So I might use this for that, not sure yet still deciding but this was um one of the items that did come in the box okay, good snap there what is this here oh it's just a couple of frayed frayed little pieces of hair so again this is the b6 notebook that came inside um, most of hers are usually dotted lines so i'm sure that's what this is and then here we have a vellum sticky note so these are nice but i'll be honest i'm i'm not a huge fan of glossy stickers or vellum um things just because i don't write with ballpoint pens and i'm i don't mind using like the micron pen that she sometimes includes her kits or some of the other kits but i'm just not a huge huge fan of it so a lot of times i'm not a fan of these because i do write with gel pens um and they don't always dry quickly or they don't i don't know they just don't Sometimes I don't even write on vellum sticky notes, but these are really, really pretty. Um, my tool pen, which does have a 0 0.7, um, is it 0 0.7 or is it 0 0.5? I think it's 0 0.7. Um, gel ink or gel refill insert, I should say, um, is what's inside of this, but it glided on there very nicely. So I don't know, those might actually work out. Oh, these are so cute. So I opened this when it came, which was legit like two and a half weeks ago, <laughs> but I've already forgotten what's in here because it's been on my desk with so much other mayhem. Um, but you've got these uh, side note tabs. I don't use these a whole lot. And part of the reason is because I feel like, for one, it's just not a part of my style of planning. Um, just being blunt, but two, same thing with the pen. I feel like, at least with the cloth and paper ones, um, I feel like there's a certain side of it that you can't really write on with gel pens and then the other side of it you can. So you guys can see that like it's a little bit of a difference um, in the actual ink writing. So I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I'm still playing with ideas of how I can use these and where I can use these. But so far I don't really use um, page flags or sticky note tabs or whatever different names people have for these. I don't really use mine as of yet, but we shall figure it out. Um, next we have our weekly sticker kit, which this is too stinking cute. I've been trying to use more of my weekly sticker sticker kits. Can I talk? <laughs> of my weekly sticker kits, especially the ones from Simply Gilded, because I've been a sub box member for quite some time. I've got stickers from like three years ago. So I've been trying to use them more, but it's not easy. So 
We'll get into that in another video, but I think I'm gonna add some more planners to my lineup because I love stickers, I love washi, I love doing, you know, setups and schemes and all that stuff and, um, you know, spreads and everything. And I just feel like I'm not utilizing all my stuff because there's only one week per week if you're using one planner. So I don't know, we'll talk about that later, but this is a weekly sticker kit for her. She usually includes anywhere from two to three. So it does look like there are three sets of day covers in this particular kit. Um, this is like a leopard theme. The box was titled Natural Beauty. So it's kind of like flowers and leopard and birds all in one. It's really pretty. Um, you've got some deco here. You've got some um, bow headers. You've got some flags. You've got some full boxes. Then on the other sheet, you have a lot more full boxes. You've got some headers here, some bows, some checklists, some circle icons. And then on the other sheets, you have your bow seals, which you can do so many different things with these. Um, but these look really cute when you include them in the spread. So you have the um, heart icons of all your different, you know, normal things, cleaning, credit card, trash cans, stuff like that, and the leopard print. Then you have them in this gorgeous mint color down here at the bottom. There's a couple of heart icons, and one of them does include a plane. I wish there were always two planes because I feel like if you're flying somewhere, I mean, granted, some people are flying one way and, you know, not coming back. But for the most part, you're going and coming. So I wish there was always at least two planes, um, whether it be in the solid with the date dots or whether it be in the full sheet of the heart icons. I wish there was always two planes so that you could put one for when you go and one for when you return. But it's all good. We'll make it work. Um, and again, on this sheet, it did include the 31 date dots. So if you wanted to, you know, decorate your whole month, you definitely could. Or if you just wanted to use, you know, the numbers for one week spread, you definitely could. You have some more deco here with some roses, some um, bows, some hearts, and then some leopards. Then you have some half boxes here, one more full box, and then you have some checklists. You have a long checklist here that has seven hearts, and then you have two four heart checklists. So that's super cute. So that is the weekly kit that comes in the actual box. And then here, this is cute. I have to turn this into a page marker in my new planner. These roses are pretty, pretty, pretty. Wish there was a leopard page. Oh, there is. This might be pretty laminated and used as like a page marker. I don't know, we'll see. But you do have this very pretty piece of vellum that is in that gorgeous leopard print. And then you have um, this gorgeous flower print, which is really pretty with these kind of peach and baby pink flowers and these gorgeous silver bows with the kind of stars. That is really pretty. I do enjoy that. Pretty, pretty, like I like. And then lastly, you have this piece of acetate, which is ooh, ooh, so pretty. So I kind of wish it was just the flowers and not the birds. I'm not huge on birds, but it is still very cute. It definitely would look very nice in a planner. Um, I might actually add a little tab to the top of this and put it in my new um, planner that we'll talk about later in another video. <laughs> but I might use this because these make great page markers, pieces of acetate. They're very thin. They're not super thick like dividers or things like that. So it makes very nice page markers. But you could also use the vellum pages as well. Um, but I would definitely recommend um, laminating them so that they had a little bit more sturdiness, kind of like the acetate does. And so last thing is our journal card, washi and ink pen. Oh my God, I love the way it smells. Mm. I'm addicted to the way these things smell, you guys. And I don't know about you guys, but if you do not keep these bags, you definitely should. They could be used in a number of ways to store different things, to keep your, you know, planter room or your crafting activities or crafting materials and stuff kind of stored away nicely. So those are super, super cute. So here we have this gorgeous, like, gray, silver, hardware, barrel, Simply Gilded pen. As usual, her pens are always very weighted, very nice to write with. Um, they're always well they're not always but they're mostly gel at least for some time they've been gel um, so they come with a little glob on the tip however writing on the vellum sticky notes like I said sometimes it glides nicely and sometimes I just kind of feel like it doesn't glide nicely so I don't know this seems to be a very good set of vellum sticky notes because these are gliding very very nicely on here so do enjoy this pen and so our journaling card Mine, of course, got a little damaged in transit to me, but it happens. So we got a little dent here. We got a little kind of crease here, but we have this gorgeous leopard on here with this pretty bow on the back. 
plain on the back, but super, super cute. Always can tuck that in a planner in a number of places. And then we have our washi. So it looks like we have our 10 and 15 millimeter of this kind of really pretty like nude tan kind of color. And then you have um, a 10 millimeter to pay this week, goals to do, to buy, stuff like that. Then you have this cute peach with this silver bow squiggly washi here. And then we have, oh, this is pretty. You have this floral washi with the kind of peach and mint color uh, flowers. Oh. Mm, so excuse me, excuse me guys. Um, you have this mint washi with this really cute um, silver bow and stars and flowers. And you got the birds on here. That is super cute. I do like that. Ooh, see what I mean? I legit opened this two weeks ago and forgot about it. Look how gorgeous this leopard print washi is. Super cute. It's in a very light, natural, nude, brown, tan kind of color. Very pretty. And then lastly, you have your five millimeter washi, which would have been so bomb if it included a leopard one to match, but it's okay. So you have the same tan nude color here, um, which is like her, um, I forgot, I think it's called heart vine is what she calls it. Then you've got this silver with the white stars. Then you have the floral pattern like to match this, but it's got the silver bows. And then you have that mint color in there with the um, with some heart and some kind of stars and smaller hearts and things like that. So this is the add on um, four count of the five millimeter washi. So I do absolutely love my washi that comes in her sets. That's one of the reasons why I just cannot bring myself to canceling my subscription because I love the washi. All right, so again, this was the April Simply Gilded sub box. Um, these are all the items that came in my box. Like I said, I am late. They should have been up two weeks ago, um, but I just was not getting my videos done. So I hope that you guys have had a chance to see um, this box and other people's channels and see the goodies that came in the box. But these are the items that did come um, in the April sub box. So if you've never heard of Simply Gilded, you definitely should go to her website um, and check it out. I'll be sure to link it down below. And if you, of course, are subscribed to her box, I'm sure you are enjoying all of your goodies just like I do. So thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you for watching it. Again, if you are new here, my name is Layla. I upload on Saturdays when I got my stuff together. Planners and bags, if that's your jam, you definitely should consider subscribing if you're not new here welcome back thank you for clicking on another video and real quick I'll talk about my nails these are press ons this is the kiss brand the length is long I don't know what the color name is it's just one I saw in the beauty supply store and thought it was cute so you guys um, you know they've been rocking with my SP fam y'all know I've been back and forth between short nails and long nails and just kind of figuring it out so I cannot type very fast if my nails are this length and for my triage position um i pretty much type as fast as a patient talks so i need my nails nice short sweet some cute polish some designs keep it moving so what i've decided to do is i talked to my nail tech about it and i removed the gel polish that is off of my natural nails and i am applying press on nails in the very long length i even have some longer than these um i am applying them on the weekend when i'm off wearing them on the weekend and then right before it's time for me to go to work I cut them down to a normal short length like as short as my natural nails so that I can type then at the end of that next week I remove them do a little mini manicure manicure of my own at home you know oil up my cuticles all that fun stuff and then start the process over so it's like a new color um, and design or what have you every week because I am going from long for a couple days short for a couple days remove manicure and then repeat so I know that may seem like a lot I know I'm not the first person to think of that idea I don't even know where it came from because I didn't see it anywhere on a, a video or a movie or anything. I just thought about how nice it would be to have like the length that I would love to wear all the time and rock more, you know, designs and jewels and all that fun stuff on the weekend, but then still be able to type and do my job during the week. So I came up with this idea. I, this is now the third week. Yeah, this is the third set I've put on in the third week. So I am absolutely loving it. It's working out beautifully. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy it. And if that makes sense to you or you've been wondering a way of how, to, of how you can kind of do something similar that you'll consider doing it because it's it's actually a really cool idea. So anyway, thought I would toss that in here because I know people are going to ask about the nails. So this is a KISS, K-I-S-S, -S, set of press on nails. I did pick this specific one up from my local beauty supply store. But a couple of the ones I've picked up, I've gotten from Amazon, CVS, Walgreens and um, a couple of the other ones also did come from the beauty supply store. So hope that you guys enjoyed this Simply Gilded Box video and you'll consider subscribing if you're not subscribed and I will see all of my SV fam members in the next video. Bye!